I, obviously, as we're in England, we just need to, I guess, address of the Queen's death. Yeah. Um, so England's currently in a 10-day mourning period. Yeah. 10 day or 11 day? I thought it was 10. Oh, but then 11th day is the funeral. Is that what it is? Is 11th day the funeral? I don't know. <laughs> I think the 11th day is the funeral. Because when, before the Queen passed away, I was reading about, like, do you know when the news was sort of being released that she's not well? I was reading about what happens if she passed away. I'm sure it mentioned 12 day morning period. And then I think you're on mute, Cam. Shit, sorry. Yeah, it says that here, 12 day morning period, but on September the 9th, Buckingham Palace released a statement detailing King Charles III has requested an extension with the morning period lasting until seven days after the Queen's funeral on 19th of September. Oh, okay. So the funeral's on Monday, isn't it? Yeah, and then it's going to be seven days. So it's yeah, so it's quite a while then. It's quite a lot of mm. a long morning period. Um, it's big news, though, because yeah. obviously she was head of the royal family for such a long period of time. Was it 70 years? Yeah. She wrote that letter. Yeah, it was a Jubilee this year, 70th Jubilee, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She wrote that letter as well, wasn't she? So she wrote a letter, I'm going to say 34 years ago. It might be 30 something years ago, which can't be opened. Oh, I think it was 33 years ago. She wrote a letter and it can't be opened for another 66 years because when she wrote it, it couldn't be opened for 99 years. All right. Which we might be alive when that gets opened. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. We could, well, we'll be, uh, hopefully, if technology keeps us fit and healthy. Well, six, <laughs> six, six years, did you say? It's left. It's six, I think it's, a, yeah, so 60 something years, so. We might. Well, depends oh. what happens. <laughs> depends what happens, yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be counting down the days. What do you think will be in the letter? Like what? Is, I don't. I don't know. Thirty-three years ago. I wasn't even alive thirty-three years ago. There wasn't much of thirty-three years ago. There was no internet. No. Would we be coming? Well after a world war, so. Mm. I think it's a relatively peaceful time. Mm. I don't know. It just—it's just a letter, but it's sort of like because it can't be opened for that long. It sort of builds hype around it, and then when the open, yeah. it might be a bit of a let down. Anti climax. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of um, King Charles? Um, I think it's going to be different. I was having this conversation yesterday with someone about the Queen and we were basically talking about corruption within the, not within the royal family, but just corruption within the world. And the Queen was probably, obviously you've got all the stuff with Prince Andrew, which doesn't really need to be addressed, I guess. But, <laughs> um, the, the Queen sort of... Uh, we don't know for sure, but it seems like she was the last of the of the good, um, the good ones, if you know what I mean. Last of the best. Yeah, that's I feel same about that. Yeah, and with her I feel passing, like she, was, quiet. she had it a bit under control. Mm. From my perspective, I don't know. Like, obviously, I'm not well read on the Queen or anything. Yeah. But, uh, just from my perception, I feel like she had it a little bit more under control than. Yeah, I feel like from with with uh, King Charles, as we know, like he's in the WEF. He the one who fought the idea of the Great Reset. Yeah, that's what probably stands out to me the most. But like, obviously, with him coming king, he's 
start conducting your research. And obviously, we knew he was part of World Economic Forum, but is that the one thing that stands out? I guess it must stand out to a lot of people. Like right? now, he's in charge. What does that actually mean for mm. this whole agenda that they're pushing? Because as, t- as well, you might think like the Queen or the royal family has no power, real power, but they do have power. They can close Parliament if they want. Mm. But the Queen never enforced, like, she never used that power. Yeah. So. He always I'm not, saying, King, I'm not saying King Charles will, but I'm saying that's the power they have. Yeah. Like, they've got yeah. ultimate power. Yeah, you, from looking at the Queen, knowing that she has an absolutely like, ridiculous amount of power, she never, you could tell that she, the power didn't go to her head. Yeah. Um, and even if you look back on history, because obviously that's what the monarchy is, it's basically like modern history in a, in a sense, but there's always going to be uh, kings and queens in the past where the powers got to the head. Mm. And it, obviously back then, uh, the world was a completely different place. But having a king or queen in modern day now and having them have power get to their head could, uh, well, it could end in, because if you have a king back in the day and the power gets to the head, then they have a war and it's sort of, uh, it's sort of uh, solicited by a war. Um, but a, a modern day war, it could be uh, the end of the human civilization as we know it. Yeah, like looking at the extremes. Yeah. But you're right in what you're saying, like the queen was, I feel like she was trusted by the population by the government whereas Charles we don't know too much about him mm. like the Queen built this trust over years yeah 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 so you just don't know what, like what could happen mm. I'm not saying it will happen but there's always like the possibility there like he's he's yeah. new to power yeah. mm. and from what we know of WEF they're quite I feel like they're quite a power hungry group yeah well obviously we was reading the great reset at the moment um was identify a lot of the power like hungriness that they have um it could be a good talking point in the book club once we know more once we finish the book and we know yeah what's going on yeah 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 Probably an, another avenue to look into more and what his actual position within the World Economic Forum is. Yeah. Because I can imagine he's, with him being king, he's probably quite high up uh, in the World Economic Forum. Yeah, now he definitely, like, like, he's something. probably stepped up a few ranks. Yeah. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, when I first heard about the Great Reset and Prince Charles was advocating for it, I never thought in my head that one day he's going to be king. Yeah. 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 That's true. I never actually thought what happens if the queen dies, because I just always assume that she's going to be there. Yeah, you've never really stopped to think about it. In the back of your mind, you know that obviously she's going to die soon, but you don't yeah. stop and have a think about what the, what the implications of this are going to be. 